Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I do my daily makeup look by using my current favorite makeup products. So without any further ado, let's just get started. First, I like to use this face mist before I apply anything to prep my skin. The face mist smells great, it has a rosy scent, it's moisturizing and I like how quickly it absorbs into my skin. This is my current favorite sunscreen. I like the smooth texture and it's very easy to apply. There's no white cast, it doesn't feel sticky at all and it also provides SPF 50. Next, I'm going to use this lip balm from Dear Dahlia to moisturize my lips beforehand. For the base, I've recently been using the Perfect Magic Cover Fit Cushion from April Skin. It provides full coverage and it covers blemishes really well. However, I suggest you to apply it thinly since it's really thick or else it will look very cakey. Currently, I have two favorite concealers. I have one that's for covering my dark circles and for the other one, it's to cover my blemishes. The reason why I'm using the All Hours Concealer is because although the coverage is not as thick and good as the tip concealer from the seam, but the coverage is good enough to cover my dark circles without creasing. The tip concealer from the seam is just perfect. It can cover any type of blemishes. On top of that, the price is really avoidable and I highly recommend it. As for the powder, the compact powder from Makeup Forever is still one of my favorites. It covers up my pores pretty well. I like how it's lightweight and also very buildable. For the shading powder, I'm using the one from Too Cool For School. It's still one of my favorites. I really love how they have three different shades in one palette that you can use depending on how thick you want the shade to be on a certain part of your face. For the highlighter, I'm using the Mineralize Skin Finish from MAC. I bought this because the design of the powder pack is pretty and just a little bit goes a long way. Also, once it settles down on the skin, it will look more natural and you will get a healthy looking glow. For eyebrow pencil, I'm using a pencil eyebrow from Etude House. I like how natural the shade is and the pencil is very easy to control and the price is very avoidable too. Then use an eyebrow mascara from Pony Effect and brush it on my eyebrows to match the color and make it look less bold. For the eyeshadow, I'm using the 3 CE Multi Eye Color Palette Cool Overtake. This is my all-time favorite makeup item. The size is perfect to bring when traveling and all the colors can be used for a daily or party look. 
take the light shimmery peach color and apply it on the eyelid a little bit over the crease. Then take a darker color and apply it on the outer and inner corners of the eyes. Then I take this darker orangey brown color, also apply it on the outer and inner corners of the eyes, brush it carefully towards the center part, and brush it as near as possible to the lash line. Then take a dark brown or black color to draw the eyeliners. I like to use liquid eyeliner sometimes just at the end of the corner of the eyes and then apply brown eyeshadow on top of the liquid eyeliner to make it look more blendable with the whole eye makeup look. This step is optional, if I'm going on dates or hanging out with my friends, I'll take a little bit of glittery eyeshadow and apply it on the center of my eyelid or inner corners of the eyes, also on the lower lash line to brighten up my eyes. I love all the Prism Air Shadow Sparkling Collection, they have 12 to 14 colors to choose and my current favorite shade is number 16 Coral. This step is really really important, if you are having a hard time trying to make the curl of your lashes stay, use a hair dryer to heat your curler then curl your lashes. It will help your lashes curl to stay curler and longer. My current favorite mascara is the last Infinite from Moonshot. This mascara is just perfect, it's waterproof, the long lasting part is amazing and it doesn't clump and I like how it helps the curl stay in place.
For the blush, I'm using the Tracy E Face Blush in Nude Peach Color. The color is very natural and light. It blends well with my skin tone color. Also, it's very buildable. Last step, I'm using the Tracy E Matte Lip Color called Mellow Flower. It's a rosy red color with slightly peach undertone. I think this color is perfect for any types of occasion. You can apply it full lips or gradient lips depending on your own liking. So that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again in my next video.